Okay, and welcome back to the video on trying to fix the 42-inch LCD TV. Now, in the previous video, I determined that the backlight wasn't working, and at first I thought it was the power supply that was the issue, but after trying to power the backlight externally, and the backlight didn't respond, it was then very clear that the backlight was the problem after all. So in this video, I'm going to try to fix the backlight, and put the TV back together, and let's see if it works. Alright, well, let's see what we've got under the diffusers. Well, I already know what we've got under the diffusers, because these all fell out when I was taking the thing apart. We've got several layers of diffusers here. And under all those, there are the LEDs themselves. So if you ever wanted to know what's on the other side of the screen, well, now you know. I don't know how many we've got here, let's see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, along, and 2, 3, 4, so that's 8 by 4, so that's 32 LEDs in the total, and I'm pretty sure that these have fallen prey to what I call Christmas tree light syndrome, where if one of them goes open, they all fail, and it won't be until I found that one that's faulty that they'll all come back on. So, I just need to find some way to get this reflector off. And get to what's under these. I can see some circuit board. Nearly these are attached to, so if I could just get this back reflector off so we can actually get to the LEDs themselves. Well, that was harder than it needed to be, but we're in. We're in like Flynn. So it seems to be separated into bunches of four LEDs, and I do believe these are all connected in series. Sounds like the cops are out again. Don't know who they're arresting this time. But anyway, I've got to find out which set of these LEDs has gone bad, and possibly find that bad LED. And this could be rather difficult because the way they've put these on is that they've stuck it on with some kind of extra strong double-sided tape. So that kind of complicates things a little. Okay, so I've done some probing around and I think I found the faulty part of the backlight. So I've got my power supply set to about 30 volts and I've connected this cable to it. On the positive side, I've got a 220 ohm resistor just to limit the current. I've tested each of these sections, and this one here appears to be the faulty one. So, just to prove to you I'm not lying, this one's good, this one's good, this one's good, this one's good. Now I'll come to, over to the other side, this one's good. This one's good. This one's good. But this one is not good. Well, I found the faulty LED, and there's this one right on the end. You might even be able to see there's a little sort of bit of charring on the circuit board there. I'll show you a bit of a close-up of that later on, but all the other LEDs are absolutely fine. I've reduced my power supply to 9 volts, still using the same 220 ohm resistor. That LED's good. That one's good. And that one's good. Now this one here is dead. And here's a close-up of that LED. You can see that charring around there. I don't know how that happened, but... Well, there's your problem. And for some reason, my camera thinks this has a face. I don't know why. Alright, well, here's the repair. Don't laugh. But I don't have any other LEDs that would replace these, so I'm going to put these in this configuration. So three LEDs on each side. It has about the same voltage drop as these LEDs do when they're wired up like this. Also, 
put on a diode just for a little bit of extra voltage drop and this seems to be as bright as all the others when I tested it so I guess it's time to put the little lenses back on and uh, well, let's see if we can put the TV back together now, well we're all back together now, well the backlight is back together now so I think it's about time to test it so I've got my external power supply for the backlight so let's see if this thing lights up alright, let's plug this in does it light up? Oh yeah! I'm not going to do it for too long because I don't know how long those resistors in there are going to last before they burn out but that was actually nice and bright. Let's try it in the dark. Yeah, that's quite a good light actually. It's lighting up the rest of the room pretty nicely. So I guess now it's time to put the diffusers on. The only trouble is I don't exactly know which order they go in. I know this thick one goes on first, but as for the other three diffusers, I'm not sure which, which order those go in. Already it's looking like a pretty good panel light. Um, I think this lens here is a little loose, but yeah. I will go and try to figure this out. Well here we go, this is the assembled light panel. Now I thought I was going to have a really tough trouble trying to figure out where each of these panels goes and what order they go in, but they only fit onto these clips one way, so that wasn't so difficult after all. So all we'll need to do now is attach the screen and the electronics, get all the fingerprints off this, and I think we'll be pretty good to go. Okay, well I'm going to put the screen on now. And I don't know if you saw it in the video, but when this was on, you could see where those new LEDs were, even through the diffusers. So I've just gone and put a little bit of paper over those LEDs. There's a big bit here and a small bit stuck on the top, which helps further diffuse the lights from the LEDs. So now when it's on, you don't even notice it anymore. Because there's a little tiny bit of a shadow there, but I don't really think it's going to matter. Okay, well the screen is back in place, which was quite a stressful job, because I had to be so careful in order not to break it, so I had to sort of inch it into place, very slowly, but I think we have an assembled screen. Well, the front bezel's back on, now i just got to put all the circuitry back in, because I did take that out while I was doing all the else, while I was doing the backlight stuff. So, I guess it's time to uh, start putting all the stuff back in. Bet you didn't think I'd be able to get this all back together, did you? It's just really a giant puzzle. But the question is, does it work? Only one way to find out, let her rip. Success! It works! May have to do a slight modification to the backlight there. I can still see a little bit coming through, but... We have a picture! Of course, you would have been able to see that if I had the thing moved up. I think a couple of the lenses from the LEDs have slipped there, but... Um, I'm not going to bother fixing that for now. But we're in busyness! And you know what the funny thing is? The person who came round to fix this TV originally said it couldn't be fixed. Didn't say I couldn't fix it. I mean, okay, yeah, we've still got a little bit of a problem there, but I'll sort that out later. Okay, well, that just about brings us to the end of this video. I've been inside this TV again, and I fixed that little problem with those two bright spots on the screen. Uh, a couple of the lenses had come unglued, so I just glued them back in, and now it's working good again. The only issue is that there is a slight bit of a shadow where I replaced that LED but you only really notice that on something that's purely white so it's barely noticeable I mean if I had the proper equipment to service this properly I would have done a better job but I'm gonna call this as good as fixed and for my needs it's just about good enough so I'm gonna call this a successful repair 
And until next time, goodbye.